So hi friend, this is Amit and you are watching my channel Information and Educational Video. So in this video, I will talk about J main August attempt paper analysis that is the 27th August SIP 1 and SIP 2 both analysis. I have already provided you the SIP 1 sort analysis and also I have provided the 26th August SIP 1 SIP 2 analysis and that is the detailed information about the difficulty level subject wise expected cutoff for the J advance and marks versus percentile also. separately for SIP 1 and SIP 2. You can check that video also in the i button as well as in the description box if you have appeared in the 26th August examination. So here I will also talk about the expected marks versus percentile in my in my each analysis video I will provide the expected marks versus percentile also because after the examination a student wants to know what will be the corresponding percentile for my marks that I am scoring in the exam. So I will provide you that and I will also provide you the expected cutoff category wise for J advanced examination that is also important because a student wants to know whether they will be eligible for the J advanced examination or not. So if you are first to my channel please try to subscribe to the channel so that you will get all the update about J main say advance and other entrance exam other counseling also in the channel only so please try to subscribe and share this video to your friends so that they can also get this information so so let's start this video so here is the 27th August SIP 1 analysis. So first thing about uh, SIP 1 paper, the syllabus was uniformly distributed. That every topic uh, was having a question and uh, if now if you talk about particularly math, it was difficult and lengthy. Many institute including FITZ uh, also, also consider it difficult and lengthy. So it will have effect on marks versus percentile also that I will provide you later in this video. Now if you talk about the number of questions, that is easy, we have 8 questions, moderate, 12, hard, 8. It is similar to the 26th August SIP 1. But the difficulty level of the paper was more according to some institute and more questions were asked from calculus, 3D vector, coordinate geometry and matrices determinant, probability, permutation combination. So these are the chapter you can look if your exam is more next marks. and physics was moderate and tricky. Some questions were tricky as, as instructed by the student who, uh, have, who have given the exam of today first. Uh, easy question were 10, moderate 14 and, uh, and hard question were 6 and most importantly modern physics again was having the more number of questions similar to previous SIP and previous attempt also because modern physics is very important if you haven't covered try to cover it it will give you five to six question in the each shift and mechanics also having some question current electricity thermodynamics and em wave also have having the question and most importantly the semiconductor so please complete the semiconductor chapter because it will provide that will give you one question that is very easy so now if you talk about chemistry it was as expected easiest among all the three subjects and it was theory based it means ncrt based so if you are for chemistry you just need to focus on ncrt main points and you will, you will able to score more marks in the chemistry so number of easy questions we had 12 moderate 13 hard 5 and it was uniformly distributed that is almost all topic having a question so overall paper was again moderate so you can see a, a see a trend between the between both all the shift of this attempt it is all the paper is about the same difficulty level yeah, overall is. difficulty level is moderate but this pair this shift yeah, difficult yeah. paper in the math section especially so it makes the paper overall a little bit difficult yeah. but not so much so it, it will be considered as moderate as claimed by different institutes so, next if you talk about 27 august shift 2 analysis so it was also similar to shift 1 and uh, math question was moderate to difficult not uh, highly difficult but it was moderate to difficult but lengthy that is the time taking questions and uh, so easy question we are 10 moderate 11 hard 9 and the and more question we are asked from 3d vector and uh, conic section matrix determinant and uh, probability permutation combination so these are the topic that you can look uh, similar to the first, similar to the first shift also because these are the topic will have a uh, one or two question for sure so next is physics was moderate and uh, easy question we are 9, moderate 12, hard 9 and modern physics again having 5 to 6 question and also electrostat and the semiconductor again was having the question and uh, chemistry was easiest and NCRT based again. Uh, you can uh, you can expect the similar type of pattern will be followed in next also but you have to be, be ready for easiest shift also because they, uh, there used to be one shift that is that is very easy in previous attempt of the exam also that is, that is March attempt and the July attempt also, also. there was a shift which was very easy as compared to the other shift so you have to be, be ready for that and you can handle those easy questions only by improving your speed so it is advisable to improve your speed as well as accuracy so if the paper is hard accuracy will help if the paper is easy a speed will help you to score more marks so if you talk about number of easy question it was 12 moderate 13 hard 5 more question were asked from organic chemistry biomolecule and polymer also and chemistry in everyday life environmental chemistry also was having a question so you should look at that chapter also that will not say, uh, take so much time 
Overall paper was again moderate yes. until that the all the four C that has been completed till now for the for the last attempt of J exam is moderate. And no no shift was having a has so much high difficulty level. But so now talk about the expected cutoff marks for J advance. That is the minimum marks that you should at least score category wise to be eligible for the J advance examination, which will take place on third of October. So uh, here is the category and shift one, shift two, both I will talk. That is for general one hundred fifteen marks. If your shift was one and if your shift was two, it, then you have to score at least one hundred eighteen plus. That is expected to, to be eligible for the J advance examination. And for AWS it is eighty four, eighty six, and for OBC eighty six, eighty eight, and for SC fifty three and fifty five marks, and for ST it is forty three and forty five marks. So this is the expected cutoff marks. So if you have scored these marks uh, or you are expecting the uh, that marks in the in your in your examination, then you will be safe for the J advance examination for sure. So now talk about the very important topic that is marks versus percentile expected uh, for twenty seventh August especially. That is shift one and shift two. So here is the for for ninety nine point nine two hundred percentile, your marks should be two sixty plus in shift one and two sixty three plus for shift two. And uh, now I will talk about only shift one. You can check shift two sidewise for ninety nine point eight to ninety nine point nine. Your marks would be two forty seven plus, and for ninety nine point six to ninety nine point eight, your marks would be two forty two plus, and for ninety nine point four or above, your marks would be two thirty two thirty two plus, and uh, for ninety nine or above, your marks would be two hundred fifteen plus, and for ninety eight point five, your marks would be two hundred five plus, and for ninety eight. Uh, or above your marks would be 195 plus and for 97.5 or above your marks would be 185 plus and this is only for 27 shift 1 and shift 2 don't confuse with other if you want to check for previous day that is 26th august you can check my previous video in the i button as well as in the description box there i have also provide all the thing that is mark expected marks for the advance and marks versus percentile and the and the subject wise difficulty level also so you can check that video also And for ninety seven one seventy two plus marks and uh, some more data is here for marks for this percentile for ninety six one hundred sixty one for ninety five one forty two for ninety three one twenty seven and for ninety one hundred fifteen and for eighty five one hundred four plus marks and and for eighty ninety four plus marks seventy five eighty three plus marks seventy seventy five plus marks and for sixty seventy five plus seventy plus marks and for fifty Uh, and for fifty or above percentile, your marks should be fifty three plus. And for forty or above percentile, your marks should be forty one plus. That is for shift one and shift two. You can uh, you can uh, you can check side wise by pausing this video. So this is all about the twenty seven August shift one and shift two analysis. That is I have provided you the detail analysis subject wise difficulty level, how many question were easy, moderate and hard, and which topic was having the more more number of question. And I have also provided you the minimum marks that is uh, that is uh, expected for the J advance examination and all and the most importantly marks versus percentile expected for these two shifts. So thanks for watching this video. Please try to subscribe this channel so that you will get all the update about J main J advance in future days also. And I will provide you similar type of video for next shift of the exam also similar to this video. So thanks for watching this video. Please. Try to